but decided to come out to the Weedy Pond today to film for one lure Wednesday before it got too hot. And my lure of the day is this beaver style bait. It's a gambler bait and apparently it already has garlic scent added because it smells like garlic toast out here. Never used a beaver style bait. I have used a craw at this pond before, so I thought I'd come out, see if I could catch something with this. Okay, here we go. Water's up here a little bit, the weedy pond. This is what I'm using. Ugly Otter or Watermelon Red. Welcome to One Lure Wednesday. Oh, terrible curse cast. I'm just going to hop and skitter it on the bottom, I think. Try dragging it this way. Ooh, it's hard to get used to how big that thing feels. Huh, I might have had a bite there. <laughs> it was moving. Oh, damn it. Okay, I think I was using a 3 aught straight shank worm hook. I'm going to go to a 4 aught wide gap hook. See if I can't hook some of these fish that are hitting this thing. Fish bite don't last forever. I feel like I'm kind of wasting some chances. Pretty big, but I caught one on that otter style creature bait. Finally, it's kind of a successful one more Wednesday, I guess. Thought he felt a lot bigger, but he was down there in those weeds. All right, pal, thanks. Pretty fish. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing that I've ever seen happen. There's not a fish on there. I'll be damned. <laughs> well, stop, little dude. That little fella cost me another one of those otter baits. I have no idea what happened there. I hope it showed up on the video, but a little fish jumped two or three times. I can't believe it was on this fish. He's a pretty little fish, by the way. Anyway, a little fish, and maybe it was him, jumped a couple of times up out of the water. I certainly didn't think I had him hooked. And then when I started reeling in, I felt a little extra weight, and there he was. So no skill in that catch. Well, geez, that was the most awful cast in the history of casts. That's the one I'll probably catch fish on. The one I gotta dig backlash out. Oh, it happens to me all the time.
week. <laughs> oh, that's a big catfish. That's what that is. Let go. be my personal best channel he's a big sucker all right darling here you go oh, i'll still be on there nope He'll be still there. They want to catch up though. Alright, that's the best bass I caught. That was pretty good. He hit that pretty quick. There you go, pal. So my biggest complaint with these gambler uh, ugly otter baits is they're just not very durable. That wasn't a very big fish to snap off the flat catch fish what I'm doing so I'm just gonna fish this till my battery runs out which should be soon one lure Wednesday it's been a pretty good day pretty good morning I'll say with the gambler ugly four inch ugly otter as of this moment I caught three little bass and one pretty big catfish up before I run out of battery. See if I can get a weight on him. Just look at him again. Woo, that's a good bass. Alright, whatever I said about that ugly otter that wasn't nice, I take it back. Okay, so he's 1.5 kilograms. She is probably. I still have to figure out how to change my scale pack to pounds. So I'm gonna do the math here in a second. I'll tell you how much he weighs, but that's over three pounds. Good fish. goes oh that was fun so I got two different weights when I did the math uh, on my fish the most consistent weight my scale said was 1.52 1 1.52 1 is three pound or 3.3 pound fish and the highest it went up to because my scale is not very good was 1.6 which is a 3.5 pound fish since it's in decimals, that 0.5, I have to do the math, convert that to ounces, but that's about, you know, three and a half pound bass. So that easily qualifies. This is the best one lure, one, one lure Wednesday ever, I think. And this uh, Gambler four inch Ugly Otter is my new favorite lure.